Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will learn how to use Blender tools to create a 3D model of the iPhone 17 Pro Max from scratch. This video will show you how to use various commands like subdivision, boolean and bevel modifiers to create the phone 3D model. For this tutorial, we are using Blender version 4.5.1. So let's get started. Let's delete all the default objects. I'm turning on the screencast keys so that you can see all the commands that I press in real time. It will be displayed on the bottom left corner of the screen. Inside Blender, press Shift A and go to images and add a reference image. You can find many reference images on the internet. The references will help us to accurately model the dimensions of the phone. Let's go ahead and take this slightly behind on the y-axis. Press Shift A, go to Mesh and add in a cube. Press G to move the cube and S to scale it. Now, scroll using the middle mouse button and press Tab to go into the edit mode. Press 3 to go into face select mode. Select all the faces of the cube except the front face. Press X to delete all the faces. Select the remaining face, press Ctrl A and apply all the transforms. Set the origin to geometry. Tap into X-ray mode so that you can see the reference image clearly. Press S and Z to scale the cube on the Z axis. Once it matches the reference, apply the scale transform. Now go to modifiers and add in a bevel modifier and switch from edges to vertices. Increase the amount of vertices and segments until the plane matches the reference image. Once you are satisfied with the overall shape, go ahead and apply the solidify modifier to add some thickness to the plane. Increase the value of the thickness to roughly match the reference image. Make sure that the even thickness is turned on. Select the model, right click on the mouse and select shade auto smooth. Again, add in a bevel modifier. And adjust the dimensions to give the edges a smooth bevel look. Take your time to adjust all the segments. Now we have the overall phone body in place. Next we will add the buttons. Again add a cube and repeat the steps we followed earlier to delete the extra faces. Select the face that is left and scale it to match the size of the buttons. Use the reference image for this. Use G to move and S to scale. Once it matches with the reference, press Ctrl A and apply the scale transform. Now go ahead and apply the bevel and solidify modifiers that we used earlier to smoothen the edges and add some thickness. Press tab to go into edit mode and press shift D to duplicate this button object. Repeat this exact same process for all the buttons on the left and on the right side of the phone. Take your time to precisely model each piece in order to maintain the realism of the 3D model.
Once you have all the buttons ready, simply drag it close to the phone model. Go to the top view with number pad 7 and align all the buttons in the same axis as the phone. As you can see the buttons are facing straight. Simply press R and Z to rotate it by 90 degrees. Now select the phone model and add in a boolean modifier. Inside the object use the picker to select the buttons. What we have done here is use the buttons to cut the slots for buttons in the phone. Again repeat this for other buttons on the right side. As you can see, we have created the slots for the buttons. Follow the exact same process to create the holes and the charging slot at the bottom of the phone. I am speeding this part since it has the same steps that we have used for creating the button slots. Once everything looks good, select the phone body and press Ctrl A to apply all the modifiers by hovering your mouse on them. This is how your model should look like after performing all the boolean operations. Next, let's make the screen of the phone. Select the front face inside edit mode and press I to insert the face. Now. Chain select these faces by Alt Shift, press E to extrude them and create a cavity between the screen and the phone body. These small details enhance the realism of your 3D model. Now let's model the back part of the phone. Press Shift A to add a cube. Place it in front of the phone model. Now select the extra faces and delete them. Apply all the transforms. Inside the X-ray mode, carefully model the dimensions to meet the reference image. Once you are satisfied, apply the scale transform. Again, add the bevel modifier and adjust the settings till you are satisfied with the look of the model. Next, apply the solidify modifier and increase the thickness. Place this cube on the phone model and apply all the modifiers. Inside object, set the origin to geometry. Select X-ray mode and press tab to go into the edit mode. Press Ctrl plus R to add in a loop cut. Now select the innermost edge and press S to scale it. Select the middle edge loop using Alt and left mouse click. Press Ctrl B to add a bevel and control the number of loops using the mouse scroll wheel. This gives us a smooth curvature finish. Now add a subdivision modifier and increase the level to 2. Also add a bevel modifier for smooth curved edges. To fix this geometry simply go into edit mode and select the face and press I to insert. The model already looks great so far. Next we'll model the camera lenses. For this 
let's add another close up reference image press shift a and add in a cylinder drag it to match the reference rotate this on the x axis scale and adjust the dimensions on the y axis go to edit mode and select the front and back face under the edge menu select bridge edge loops again add the bevel modifier and tweak the settings next add the subdivision modifier take your time and make minor adjustments wherever necessary now select the front faces and press i to insert and e to extrude them outwards once everything looks fine press shift plus d to duplicate and place it on the bottom and the diagonal place select all the three rings and press control j to join all the three together Select and drag the three rings to the model and match them with the reference image. Press G and Y to move them along the Y axis and place them at the back. You can model the components inside the lens if you want, but I'll show you an easy method to fake the lenses and save time. For the side pattern on the phone, I created four cuboids using the reference images to mark the positions. Next, tap into edit mode and make sure x-ray mode is turned on. Press K to activate the knife tool. Select the vertices and press X to cut along the x-axis. Do this for the bottom edge as well. Repeat this process until you have the pattern on all four corners of the phone. We will use this when creating the materials. I created the flash and sensors in a similar way to the buttons using the boolean modifier. Now, for the most exciting part, Let's create the materials and textures. Make sure we have references to check the color values. Under materials, add in a new material and name it silver finish. Increase the metallic value all the way to 1 and reduce the value of the roughness. Select the phone body then the back camera and press control L. to link the materials create a new material and name it black rough go into edit mode and select all the inner faces then assign the material make the color all the way to black and increase the roughness to 1 for the lidar sensor let's create a new material and name it black lens Make the color black and decrease the roughness to 0. Decrease the IOR to 1.4 and increase the transmission weight to 0.8. As you can see, we have a perfectly reflecting lens. Go into edit mode, select the face and press control B to add a smooth bevel. We will use the same lens material for the camera glass. For the front notch, I again cut it using the boolean modifier and added the lens material. For the screen, create a new material. Make it black and reduce the roughness value. For the flashlight, go into the shader editor and create a new material called flash. Press Shift A to add a wave texture and plug it into the metallic value. 
make the texture type to rings and adjust the scale and other parameters press control t to add mapping and texture coordinates and adjust the size and position of the rings For the rare ceramic protection, duplicate the silver material and increase the brightness of the color. Now, for the side patterns, just duplicate the silver material and make it slightly darker. Apply it on all the four areas. Finally, download a transparent logo from the internet. Press Shift A. and add in an image as a mesh plane rotate and correct the orientation place it in the desired location and scale it to match the reference now for the camera lens trick that i mentioned go into the shader editor and add an image texture node open any image that has the camera lenses now We need to unwrap this. So, go to the UV editor. Select the glass lens, press U and select project from view. Now, just adjust the three circles to match the reference image on the right side. As you can see, we have a perfect looking camera lens. And there you go. We have a complete model ready. If you see all the parts are floating, and this is difficult to work with so let's control all the parts using a single parameter press shift a to add an empty and select box empty now select all the models and select the empty box as the last object press control p and select object keep transform Now if you move the box all the objects are going to follow this This will come in handy when you create 3D product animations That's it for this tutorial I hope you liked it please leave a like and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below Stay tuned for more such exciting blender tutorials